I have passed my computer science class. Hello everybody, it's Jordan the Computer Scientist here and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about my path going forward now that the fall semester is over. So as I've mentioned in the beginning, I just passed my computer science class. Uh, I passed it with a B, so I'm very excited about that. Now, although I did not make it through one course, I am very excited that I at least made it through this one because that means that I'm still moving forward. I'm not just getting set back and I have to take one class that isn't related to my major at all and I was going to take that next semester alongside Calculus 2 and then over the summer I was going to take the last math that I had to take. It was either going to be linear algebra, differential equations, or Calculus 3. But I have actually decided to take that class that's not related to my major over the winter break. I have an assignment due tomorrow but my emails keep telling me that the class has started today. Right after I finish editing and posting this video, I'm going to do my first assignment, which is just introducing myself. And I plan on doing really well in this class and then passing and then moving on to the spring semester, which I believe starts on January 18th. But as I have previously said, I had to take calculus two in the spring and I had to take a math after that in the summer. But what I have decided to do was actually take linear algebra and calculus two in the same semester those would be my only two classes that i have to do i'm kind of scared to be honest with you especially you know with my background in math but i feel like since those are my only two classes if i just keep practicing and catching up with my reviews on math and then when i start i can hopefully take a class and then review what i just went over in that class each time i take the class so i never fall behind and then whenever i'm free like after i finish a youtube video or whenever i have time to play video games i could just do the study guide. The difference between me saying this the last time I took calculus and now is that I have a YouTube channel and I really don't want to post another video talking about failing calculus. I want to keep moving forward. I want to get my associate's degree and I feel like I have a lot of people rooting for me now. 122 to be exact. Thank you for all your support everyone. So after the winter I plan on taking two math classes and then hopefully everything goes well. I stick to my guns. Hopefully I pass both of them. And then I can move on to computer science too, which will be the last class that I take before I move on to a university and finally get out of community college. I've been here for a very long time and I can either be ashamed of it or I can just use that shame as motivation to finally get out of community college. <laughs> I can keep justifying it by saying, oh yeah, when I first went, I was an accounting major and then I quit for a year and came back and changed my major, which basically put me all the way at the beginning but I, I don't care I probably could have been finished like maybe two semesters ago and I don't want to keep furthering it anymore so I plan on passing the rest of my classes uh, hopefully I can take computer science too in the summer so I can go to university in the fall of 2021 but as of right now it's looking like it may be spring of 2022 which would mean that I'll probably be graduating in 2024 God, this is so far away. No, I'm sorry, 2023. Right now, I'm still practicing web development. I have finished my HTML course on Codecademy. Uh, I'm going to be starting CSS very soon. I just wanna go over everything that I learned in HTML, just to make sure I have it down packed so I'm not lost when I go on this CSS. And then after I learn my CSS course, I'm going to be doing JavaScript. And then after I learn JavaScript, I'm just going to keep trying to expand on that, keep trying to do that. Also, I'm going to obviously keep my knowledge in Java. So I'm going to keep coding in Java. And once I learn how to make some websites, I'm going to learn how to use Java for the back end. And hopefully by the time I graduate with a degree, I'll be able to do all that comfortably, comfortably. I kind of took a step back by failing, took a step forward by passing, and I'm happy that I passed. But yeah, I don't, I don't care how long it takes me to be honest guys i'm going to get this degree and i'm going to get a job and i'm going to be happy not being in retail but yeah we will get there we will definitely get there and i want to thank everybody for the support thank you for the people that are actually following along with my journey we're going to pass everything together we're going to graduate together we're going to prosper together and we're all gonna be happy together. Thank you for watching my video, guys. Don't forget to join my Discord and follow me on all of my social medias and like, comment, and subscribe. And also, don't forget to never, ever give up. Join the Computer Scientist out. I'm a goat, no, I'm really vicious. Got hands turning when I get the spitting. Since 16, I've been making greatness. Bagging bad girls when they start to listen. Being great, 
so you must have missed it. Creative genius, friends are leaving. 